add window, paint, boom, then we'll go Let me catch up on questions and then I'll discuss this. You have access to a nerd what? Do you have access to a nerd cannon because hot dropping two hundred plus battle ventures is as fun as it sounds. Uh if you're talking about Titan bridging a two hundred man venture fleet, that's probably not something you'll see on my stream though. No. Do you ever do anything in wormholes on off stream? Uh very rarely. Wormholes are not really my jam. You guys mostly run incursions to make risk for PvP. What's your main forms of risk income other than incursions? I don't do anything for risk. The stream pays my way. Do you have any ideas for... Do you have any plans for future theme fleets? Theme fleets are typically things I think of like a day before I make them happen. Uh, I don't really have anything that comes to mind that we haven't already done. I've got a couple very sort of underformed ideas still floating about in my cerebral pri primordial ooze and eventually they'll you know develop lungs and walk on the land that is my tongue a poem by sesquibles pain hype let me draw you a picture we need to do something for 4,000 followers yes we do we do we do we do what do you guys want to see for 4,000 followers what can I do to tickle your all's fancy to celebrate 4,000 followers. What's a decent ship to start PvPing with? That's a good question. Let me get back to this original one. Keep in mind, everything that happens in the chat for the next like several minutes, I'm going to ignore so I can answer the one guy's question. What race should I play as? And what's a decent ship to start PvPing with? Draw me like one of your French girls. Alright, so here we go. I'm freehanding this. I know you might find that hard to believe once you see the angles, but uh, so uh, time. Oh, how do you draw that? Like that? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Time spent. I actually had to turn my head sideways to make sure I had the line on the right side of the end there. Time spent, um... Options... Slash... Opportunity... At Y. It's aggressive. Alright, arbitrary tick marks. It is a graph after all. This is science. Alright, so here's Eve. In a nutshell. And this is mainly directed to the guy that asks, what's a good race to start PvPing with? Oh, we can do this. Let's do... Yeah! Alright, so, here's where you start, down there. Oh, why are you not... Oh, I see, it's a chisel tip. So here's where you start, right? Day one, holy shit, New Eden, so big, such space, much kill, wow. And then what happens is, this is the amount of time spent to gain options or opportunities. Whoop! Wait, these these axes are reversed, right? God, somebody should have stopped me on that one. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a tragedy. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. You did this to me. Alright, I got this. I got this. Okay. So, oh, I can't find my cursor. Oh, wow. No. How about that? There is a text tool. Time invested. 
Oh, <laughs> that eye has a thyroid problem. Time invested. It's been a while since I've been in like a physics course where I had to write reports and what have you. Um, oh God. Oh Jesus. Options. Slash. That's a backslash. Fuck. Opportunity. Pretty good at writing sideways, though, if I may be so bold. Alright. So there's options and opportunities. Now we go to the whiteboard. So here's where you start. Day one, I'm a scrub. I uh, don't know what I'm doing. And then time invested versus options opportunities goes like that, right off the bat. This is where you're talking about... Let's get the unnecessarily large uh, arrow, annotation arrow. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go... Uh, I'm going to fill that solid. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So this is like... Frigates, Retriever, um... Basic cruiser tackle for fleet, gleet fleet. That's where this is right here. All of that is pretty much. I mean, it's not instantly available, but it's pretty goddamn close. So if you go into like PvP based things or combat based things, missioning, all that frigates right off the bat, or if you go mining, I mean, you can rush something like a retriever or venture. Uh, you can get basic cruiser skills really quickly, and you can be ready to be a fleet tackle pilot right off the bat. So that's all well and good. And then, um, and then it sort of goes like this, and then it goes like this. Unnecessarily large annotation arrow. Uh, and then this is sort of where you hit the point where it's like, uh, cruiser. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Can't have that. So this is where you... What? No. No, no, no. Black. So this is where you get, like, cruiser... Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Why... Why, why you do this? Why are you... <sighs> Why are you doing this to me? All right, so here's where we get into cruisers. Uh, T2 frigs, specialty mods, logi. Uh, decent BCs. Decent BCs. Um, and here's where you really make money. Uh, at this point, you can do a lot of stuff to make money, specifically exploration. Um, and just a frigate or a destroyer, or a frigate, well, you could do a destroyer. A frigate or a cruiser is totally fine for this. Um, I saw a guy with a stream highlight clip the other day who uh, got a 7 billion drop out of a data site. He got a bunch of augmented uh, BPCs. So there's that, right? And then... And then, like that, um, and it sort of just keeps going from there, really, as far as I'm concerned. I guess it wouldn't go down, hold on, it wouldn't go down, would it? It's a bad graph, I apologize. So it sort of plateaus for a while, and then you get like, hacks, and then you get like command ships, and then you get like battleships, and then it's kind of it's kind of like that. Oh, I got a carrier. Uh, oh, I got a super. Oh fuck, I got a super. That's uh, that's pretty much the graph. Um, uh, let's 
let's see. Oh, you motherfucker, you know I want Phil. We might as well finish this out, right? Alright, so command ships, recons, battleship skills. Uh, subcaps. I'm just going to rate subcaps when you've pretty much maxed your subcap. That's where you're at. And that is a fun spot. That should pr probably be a little bit higher. And then, um, Let's go, let's just do a brush, different stroke, yeah, and then not subcaps, that's, that's pretty much how Eve goes. Um, the first few weeks are awesome, and your, your opportunity is huge. Because in the beginning, you're finishing a skill like every two hours. It's like, oh, you train this, oh, you train this. I remember when I first got into a non-frigate, I was like, holy shit, this thing is gigantic, and it does so much damage. Um, and that was fun, and now it takes me a month just to get 3% more armor resistance off an ea and M. So I, I don't... Hopefully it makes sense. In the beginning, everything will move very quickly, and you'll be able to do a bunch of stuff. So, this is the part... Hold on, let me note this, uh, lest anybody not know what I'm referring to. This is the part right here that people ignore about Eve. This one. This one right here. That section loosely encircled. That's the part that compensates for the, the whole myth of Eve being super difficult to get into. Um, that whole learning curve hanging off a cliff thing is based on is based on this but the truth of it is right right there that's the truth that is the light and the way uh, that in the beginning you can catch up really quickly to everybody else uh, it only takes I mean it only takes a, a few days to be a fleet tackle or a venture miner and then from there you know, you get basic frigate and cruiser skills, you can do almost anything. Uh, things you can't do, like incursion fleets, you can't run high-end battleship ops, obviously you can't drop triage. That's all well and good, but that's going to take you... Oh, let's make sure I got the fill here. Let's do green. No. Let's do purple. This whole thing is like a multi-multi-year grind. Um... And you just start to plateau after a while. There's only so many things you can do with the character in EVE before it's like, well, okay, pretty much done with that. So, you know, enjoy your time in the, uh, in the fun zone down here, because it, it's not that it gets worse, it's that it takes a lot longer to unlock those next levels. Do you need a sacrilege? No. No, you'll be fine without a sacrilege. So I don't stress over it when you open the little information thing and it says it's going to take you eight months, which it won't, it'll only take you two. But hopefully you get what I'm saying. Hopefully that's somewhat informative. And I would add to that that races have their own trends. So, and people are going to give me shit for this, that's okay. So let's go Mimitar. Mimitar. So here's Mimitar. Oh my god. Mimitar, Mimitar, oh, I got T2 guns, Mimitar, Mimitar, uh, artillery, Mimitar, Mimitar, oh, I've unlocked a Varger and a Tempest. Um, Amar is kind of brown, so we'll go for Amar. Uh, Amar is like, good frigates, uh, don't really need drone skills, oh, I got T2 guns, uh, oh, I'm getting tankier and tankier and tankier and tankier, oh my god, battleship fleets, so good, Archon, so good, like that. Um, Kaldari is... There you go, that's Kaldari. Um, and then Galenti is like... Yes, yes, this is my jam. Oh my god, T2 guns. Yes, 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 BCs. Uh-huh, give it to me. Tech 2 battleships, and then fucking unlimited potential. So, um... There you go, that's pretty much the learning curves of the four races. So everyone should understand Eve.
actually knowing what you're doing is another thing entirely super super true uh, by the way if you start playing Eve you're gonna be confused as fuck and you're gonna have no idea what other people are doing right that makes them more successful than you because you're gonna see other people with like billions of isk and great kill boards and even though you might borrow their fits or train toward what they're doing you have no fucking clue why you're so terrible and they're so good that's a thing trust me because in order to be an effective PvPer, you you don't have to know what you're gonna fly. Like what you're gonna fly is pretty self-explanatory. You fit the fucking ship. I'm sure you know what you're flying. What you really have to understand is everybody else, every other ship in the game. And that sounds super dramatic because in all likelihood, if you're out in a, an Atron in your first week, you know, knowing the bonuses for a Chrono is probably not gonna matter because it's gigantic and it's black and you're gonna shit your pants. That sounded. <laughs> But my point is, you don't have to know everything, but eventually you will know everything if you spend time. And, uh, if I, so let's say I just started EVE. Let's say I trained a Kaldari person up to this level right here. Right? I got him decent frig skills, a little bit of cruisers, some destroyers, that sort of shit. And then I did not use this character. I didn't put a single skill in the training queue forever. Like, I, I trained him to about 3 million, 4 million SP, and then I, I stopped putting things in the queue. But I keep playing on him. I would still get much, much, much better from here. I mean, the skills, again, this is why it says opportunity, not fun and skill. This is just what it gives you opportunities to do. Um, once once I learn, like, man, that retribution's really tanky and, you know, holy shit, that, that uh, Cerberus can hit me from a really long way away and that sort of stuff, then you start to become better about what you can and can't do. And you will get significantly better. <laughs> so much Galenti loved. Very drone. Galenti is one of the most SP intensive races in the game. Galenti is slow progress, but it also gets you lots and lots of power. So if you want immediate success, don't train Galenti. Like, if you want to get your rocks off in the first couple weeks, Galenti is fun really early, but once you get a little bit later down the line, it really stalls out. Because you need Tech 2 drones, you need Tech 2 blasters to unlock the useful ammo, t ammo types. Except for rails, which can use factions, so. <laughs> this is so hilarious, you made my fucking game. Wow, you people are... His brother's a retard and paints him pretty pictures. <laughs> you all are easily entertained. I think that's what I like about you. I'm also easily entertained. Hmm. It's gigantic and it's black and you're gonna shake your pants. <laughs> Squeevil's 2k14. Oh man. Admit it, you trained for a PvE drink. And most people fall into this trap of this Cal well I won't call it a trap, but they go for this Kaldari thing right here because of this. Like Kaldari doesn't really need T2 launchers because faction ammo is most common and in PvP and uh, non-faction is obviously fine for mission running. The projection is good, the tank is really good, it's a passive shield tank on all the missioning boats up to a certain level, which means you put the mods on and turn them on, you don't have to manage capacitor, you don't have to manage range, you don't have to manage transversal, you don't really manage damage types, because the damage is bonus for a specific type. Like Kaldari, just that that's why Kaldari is popular. Um, you don't do much. <laughs> but, I will say, this plateau is, is very, very real, because if you train up these missile boats and these shield skills, the shield helps Galenti the green and Mimitar the brown. Those both really benefit from having good shield tanking skills, but missiles not so much. I mean, you can use missiles on a few of their boats and things like a sci-fi and whatnot, bellicose, but realistically you have to train into guns at some point. Let's get a... I don't have any more colors. Let's get another brush. So these three right here, oh yeah, that's a nice brush. Oh wow. Oh my god. It's like fucking calligraphy brushes. That's awesome. It's watercolor, that's what it is. So these three right here are the gun races. Galenti, Mimitar, and, and Amar are gun races. That means if you train a gunnery support skill for one of these three, you get it for all three. And you have to train into the specific guns, but surgical strike, trajectory analysis, uh, fucking sharpshooting, 
That, that benefits all three of these. So you only have to train it once, and it helps the primary weapon platform of all three races. And then there's this fucker over here. Missiles. So many missiles. And yes, you can train blasters, but we all know you don't, because you're Kaldari, and your friend who sub told you the Drake is the best. So you have missiles, and it's like, cool. Uh, enjoy flying missiles for the next nine months, because the rest of us trained up gunnery skills, and we're going to make fun of you relentlessly, uh, because you trained missiles. And missiles are good, but they're just missiles. That's all you can use, missiles. But, I mean, on the bright side, if you're Kaldari, what you do is you cross-train into blasters, and then it, once you have blaster skills, which work for Kaldari, you have blaster and shield skills, and blaster and shield translates well into Gwenti. So if you started Kaldari, first off, may God have mercy on your soul, but uh, second off, Gwenti is your easiest cross-train, because you share a weapon system, you share hybrids, and you share shield tanking. Gwenti is more than capable of shield tanking. Even though their ships get a bonus to armor tanking, there are tons of Galenti hulls that shield. And then once you have shield tanking and you have the gunnery skills for hybrids, you can train into Winmatar. And Winmatar uses shield and guns. And then once you have that down, you can train into armor, and the armor will benefit your Galenti and your Amar. And you already have the gunnery skills and the missile skills. Mazel tov, that's where we hoist you up in a chair and CCP rains money on you. The Drake is the best right now. Oh, hold on, I got this. Alright, what's the loudest pink? There we go, perfect. Give me this calligraphy brush again. Alright. Here we go, SS, Sir Squeebles, not the Secret Service. Um, but uh, it's an original work, guys. There you go. All yours. You can copy that, mount it on the wall. I will um, tell you what, if somebody prints this out, even on a sheet of printer paper, puts it in a frame and hangs it somewhere in their house, I'll buy you a battleship. <laughs> if you send me a copy of it, I'll, I'll buy you two. <laughs> oh, get it printed on canvas, a real nice like uh, brush nickel frame. So does anybody have any other questions? Yeah, the, I mean all the attributes have leveled, so races are not super important. Hopefully I answered somebody's question, but uh, Caldari BS5 is fine. I, they're, none of them have utility, that's my main issue with them. Most Kaldari battleships, you're not like, oh, I can armor tank this as well. Whereas the other races have that option besides Amar.